afternoon. Welcome to Great Icing Woman at New Banks. Welcome to Everyday With Me. Um, it's been a long time that I haven't uh, made live, so um, now I want to, to share this moment with you. Actually, I'm on 10 days. 10 days water and juices fast okay so i don't eat any hard or soft things means um water juices only juices different kinds of juice juices but that would be after the three days water fast uh, so today is my second day now i'd like to give this uh, thought to to some who wants to try this <laughs> water fast okay on the first day uh you feel okay okay means that uh it's uh what is this one okay in the sense that you will only feel like you are hungry uh, but you will not feel busy okay so that is on the first day on the second day on the second day that starts the the feeling of uh, lightheadedness or headache and then sometimes you will feel like uh, shivering um, and then you will feel um, feeling tired that is usually second day why it's because your body doesn't have any sugar so that's the feeling so the hardest part actually is always on the second day but when or second day to third day but when you will go over second day and third day the fourth day will just be okay because your body adjusted already to the change that you are doing so someone asked me why did you do water fast now actually i have done this before um I used to do this water fast three I means quarterly okay and it's very very effective for me what I have done was five days okay uh, the first thing that I had done was five days so two days uh, three days always I keep three days as my water fast first day second day third day that is my water fast and then I will start juices green juices on the fourth day and on the fifth day i will start fruit juices okay so you can alter uh, or what any kind of juice for the green juice okay for the green juice i'm just sharing this with you this is my journey my experience for the green juice i used to put cucumber this is green cucumber celery green apple okay and ginger and lemon that's that's the ingredients i used to put okay now on the juices on the neck on the fifth day i will put beetroot okay beets uh, celery carrots green apple and uh what else uh, ginger and uh lemon so that is the preparation so for this time i will be doing it for 10 days so what i will do in 10 days is that of course three days okay and then green juice then fruit juice juice and then green juice again or i will do two days green juices green juice okay three days of water two days of green juice okay and then on the sixth on the seventh would be fruit juice and then green juice again and then i will start my smoothie on the ninth and the tenth so actually that was my plan but if in case uh, everything will just be okay and i could manage to do it maybe i would extend to 15 to 20 days and again if it is okay i will extend to <laughs> 30 days so i'm trying to to experiment my myself now someone asked me go back to the question 
why are you doing this okay why do you do this number one i want to heal my own body i want my body to heal by itself so i need to put good stuff in me so how could i do the good to place good stuff in my body if i did not clean okay so water fast for three days and the juices is making my body to be clean so uh, it's a matter of cleansing the second thing is that i want to starve <laughs> i want to starve the bad cells in my body okay what are the bad cells okay so i don't know if what i am doing is right or wrong but this is my experience in the past so i would like to starve my my bad cells and uh, nurturing my good cells okay so what else uh, why i am doing it, this the third is that of course it will help me uh, with my and my blood sugar I'm trying to really uh, eliminate uh, my I'm already pre-diabetic so I want these things to be eliminated I don't want to drink any 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 medication so I'm trying to to really experiment and what is this one to, to do this for myself and uh, the, the fourth one okay, fourth, okay whatever it's actually to lose weight on the bar. So to lose weight. Where's my idea? So that's the, the reason that I am also doing. Ah, okay. So if you intend to join me, you can join and you can start. And of course, I'd like you to, to have uh, a group of people to be with you. Uh, that would help you um, or encourage you to go on <laughs> that will encourage you to to actually proceed or be what I mean to continue my husband is, is playing now see, see, see did you hear him did you hear him snore mm. and he is struggling because I'm not eating so because I'm not eating he has to he has to sacrifice alongside with me. Right? Oh, damay lang, diba? So, ganun lang. Ganun lang. Damay-damay lang. Damay-damay hmm. lang tayo. Kasi pag hindi tayo magdamay-damay, nakupatay tayo. So, why I'm doing this? Why I'm doing this? It's just because to encourage people. Okay? Uh, to encourage lang talaga. Um... Minsan kasi, sometimes, no one, uh, we hear people, or we, we watch, we see, or we, we, we read. But I think it would be good if you will have someone whom you know that could be um, of help to you, di ba? So, I want to, do you, uh, ano man, uh, uh, ano ba to? Sa ano ba yun? May question kayo? Ay, yun? Kung may mga hello at Angie, hello at Angie, kumusta ikaw, kumusta ikaw dyan? Okay? So, ano na oras dira? Uh, ganito pala. So, I'm, nag-live ako, di kayo may nagapamangkot sa ako kung paano ko daw himuunang ako ng water fast. So, I'm sharing, I'm sharing, I'm sharing my water fast journey. Uy. Nagalit, nagdamo, nagalit na. Okay. And so, um, actually, actually, uh, I'm preparing juice for my husband. Kasi, enforced talaga yun enforced talaga <laughs> so for three days i made uh i made uh a pink juice i don't know where to put it i will show you just for that i'm sure
So this is the pink juice. Okay. So this pink juice is made up of a combination of watermelon only. Actually, kaila uh, supposedly um, there must be strawberry also in here. It so happened that when I when I tasted the strawberry, ay, matamis man. It's sweet. So, <laughs> so instead of placing and um, placing here, yeah, oh no, I could not resist. But what I did, I ate the strawberry. So, wala. So this is, but you can put strawberry here, okay? Watermelon and uh, watermelon, strawberry, ginger, and lemon actually i have stuff in my kitchen that i have to to prepare because i'll be preparing lemon ginger and mint limbs okay so this is combination of these three and i'm not sure i'm not sure if i will add some garlic i'm not sure but that is the the thing that i will be doing uh, it's either tonight or tomorrow and I uh, so I'm just sharing but if I will be preparing those kind of juices of course definitely I will be uh, I'll be doing it live so that you can watch and you can see and uh, giving credit to the giving credit to the owner of this okay giving credit to the owner of of this idea I will be making and experimenting making my own pizza <laughs> actually I'm making pizza and I, I cook pizza and my children was telling me mommy you don't prepare pizza anymore Kasi naman, minsan. Uh, but I will be showing a pizza that is made only of vegetables and um, Madali lang naman siyang gawin. It's easy to prepare. It's easy to prepare. Now, why do you think I, I'm, I'm becoming an advocate of, <laughs> of health? Actually, matagal na. Actually, before, long time ago, I'm into health, actually. And so that's why I'm putting myself into the picture so that people could be inspired. Yes, yes, yes. It's not easy to decide to become healthy. It's not easy to decide to become healthy. Ah. Uh, it takes a decision. It takes a great decision to close our mouth. It takes a decision, a strong will decision to close your mouth. So actually, it is really biblical. I just want to share with you. It is really biblical. Okay? Proverbs. Proverbs. I want you to go to Proverbs 23.1. Proverbs 23.1 Okay? Now, the principle in here is that uh, The principle in here is this A healthy principle It's a discipline actually A discipline that each one of us must develop Okay? Proverbs 23 verse 1 When you sit to dine with a ruler Note well what is before you verse 2 and put a knife to your throat if you are given to gluttony do not crave his delicacies for that food is deceptive wow okay so this is the thing when you die you know this is normal for us Someone was telling me, we will go in that restaurant because it's buffet. Okay, so when it is buffet, it's eat all you can. Actually, it's good, but actually it's bad. <laughs> well, it depends on okay. So, if you have that in mind, you can enjoy food. We can enjoy food. We can enjoy food. We can enjoy food. The problem I'm telling it, I'm sharing this with you, it's because for me, if I eat and if I have tasted a very, very nice, 
dish oh my 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 myself to be really really satisfied and full 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 to the extent that if you will have this have this uh, imagination if our stomach could really expand like a balloon oh my you may be very scared to see that your stomach is really 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 big it's unfortunately god in his wisdom he covered our stomach well that we don't see it what is inside so when we when we eat uh, okay so the principle in here is that when you are on the table when you see food okay when you see food that means you have to think okay when we see food on the table we need to think he said here note well what is before you so when you have food before you think what is this food <laughs> no no this is very ideal this is very ideal but you know it's really hard to do it when you are in the real real situation when you are confronted with reality ah so when there is food oh my you want to taste everything you know, because the different colors different preparation designs on the table wow I, I face that I face that struggle I face that struggle but again it takes a decision to really control yourself and sometimes when we are eating outside you know we always think ah, this happened only once oh this happened only once and that is the usual mindset that we have it's okay it doesn't happen all the time it doesn't happen all the time so we need also to change our mindset. So when you will be in front of the food, think. This is the principle here in the Bible. And then if you are given to gluttony, okay, if you are given to gluttony, if you have a tendency to eat more than you should, <laughs> put a knife on your throat. How many of you actually, how many of you actually been hurt because of some fish bone stuck in your throat <laughs> i was a victim i had that experience so you are having a hard time swallowing it isn't it so you have a hard time swallowing because every time you swallow you have the pain and so and so and so and so the advice when we have the tendency we need to put a knife on our throat so what's this all about that means self-control for the day so if you want to journey with me join jump in it's only second day so you can you can decide you can follow me so tomorrow again i will share it with you some physical experience or real experience now you know now uh now the feeling that i have uh my head is heavy and I feel tired. So this is the usual thing that happened every second day. And uh, even up to three days, you have this feeling. You have this feeling. And usually to some people, on the third day, they even have more, more uh, heavy feeling on their head and more uh, tired because sugar is being it's depleted okay so that's it that's it so i'm not expert on this i'm just sharing with you my journey so our principle number one is that number one okay 
when you see something on the table step back and think oh <laughs> it's hard to do it's hard to do it's hard to do okay and then when you have the tendency to eat more wow, when you have a tendency to eat more you know what happened put the knife in your throat okay so blessings for everyone and if you have some questions you can pm me and another secret that i made i really pray to god lord remove my cravings or my desire on food that i need to really remove from my plate prayer is very powerful we cannot do anything and we will never be successful without prayer because it is only god who would really assist us okay so blessings blessings and god bless you until tomorrow bye bye